Alright, the next trailer in the trailer apocalypse is our new Suicide Squad trailer. And just as the trailer before it, and the trailer before it, this movie just looks better and better. And bear in mind, this is now a post-Batman v Superman world. I mean, the real world. I think this movie might actually take place before BVS. That's one of the rumors floating around, I don't know. Point is, everyone has their thoughts on BVS by now, and I personally really like the movie. Other people hated it, some people just thought it was okay. But the fact is, this is the DC Extended Universe. There's more to it than the big superheroes. This Suicide Squad movie looks like it's gonna be a really good time. In fact, I'm almost getting a kind of Guardians of the Galaxy vibe from it. It is about a ragtag group of people who are not really heroes and they come together to do something. And hey, Guardians of the Galaxy is one of my favorite movies of Marvel Phase 2, so Suicide Squad might be one of my favorite movies of the DC Extended Universe. And this new trailer is awesome, right from the opening logos where Warner Brother comes on the screen and it's with the Joker's laugh, it's all, ah, 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 and then DC's like, ah. I'm like, dude. And you see stuff you already know, like the government saying, okay, we have this big brave new world now. What can we do to protect people? And Amanda Waller's like, okay, what if I had this group of criminals? I can control these guys and I can have them do this mission for us. You see Deadshot finally demonstrating his skill for us because he takes out his pistol, he shoots a target, dead on, bullseye. You see Harley Quinn being really hot. As uh, yeah. And it's funny, Rick Flagg played by Joel Kinnaman from Run All Night. He's like, okay, if any of you do anything to piss me off, I will fucking kill you. He's really not messing around with this shit because he's the military guy, you know? Harley's like, all right, I'm just letting you know, I'm just kind of known to be a little vexed. Rick Flag's like, I don't care. If you vex me, I will kill you. I just want to be like, can't she be a little vexing? I'm a sucker for Harley Quinn. She's my favorite Batman villain. And then the song comes on, and right when I heard the drums come in, I'm like, I know that song. And the man in the back said, everyone attack, and it turned into a ballroom blitz. And the girl in the corner said, boy, I want a one, yeah, it'll turn into a ballroom blitz. Ballroom blitz. Ballroom blitz. Ballroom blitz. I love that song, dude, and that just goes to show you that the Suicide Squad trailers just have the best songs ever. Just further adds to the overall good time that I think this movie's gonna give us. And then, of course, we have the main attraction, the Joker, coming in. We have a couple of new bits of dialogue from him. He's like, are you sweet-talking me? All that chit-chat's gonna get ya hurt. And alright, at this point, I'm pretty convinced that Jared Leto's gonna kick ass as a Joker. Some people are still on the fence about how he looks. I'm fine with it by now. I don't care about the tattoos. He's still the Joker. Now, a couple of the quick shots have me scratching my head a little bit. There's one scene I saw where Harley is, like, falling off of a building or something and Batman he's in this movie Batman is jumping after her like he's gonna save her you get the feeling okay Batman is saving lives now even though that she's a villain so maybe this movie is during whole Batman's no kill rule and maybe something changes at the end of this movie before Batman v Superman where Batman's like okay I'm gonna kill people now I don't know I just don't know and there's one shot of the Joker in this trailer that a lot of people are talking about it's this shot a lot of people are saying it looks like Scott Snyder's Endgame which is a story in the comics I guess I've never heard of it but that's just what I heard people say to me this kind of looks like a mashup of the Joker Joker and Two-Face because he has the whole scarred up burn thing on one half going on. Maybe there's gonna be a Harvey Dent reference or something. Maybe Harvey Dent's gonna be in this movie. Probably not. I'm just saying DC now has the entire Batman world to explore. You can bring in anyone you want. You can bring in the Riddler, the Penguin, the Scarecrow, Two-Face, Catwoman. I really don't know what those plant things are. At first I thought it might have been something Poison Ivy related, but I don't think so. Because nowhere in any articles I've read or anything I've ever seen, any TV spots or commercials or whatever, have said, hey, Poison Ivy. Maybe it'll be a surprise. Maybe it's something else entirely, I just don't know. The best explanation I can think of is that it's the Enchantress doing something. If it's not that, I don't know. And that's the point of a good trailer. It's supposed to show you some stuff that you're like, I just don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to wait until I see the movie to find out. Good stuff. And the trailer ends by answering the question, what happens when you leave the Suicide Squad at a bar? What you having? Beer. Whiskey. What am I, 12? How about you, hot stuff? Water. That's a good idea, honey. I really like this team dynamic they have going on. Of course, they're not all gonna get along, especially taking into consideration the fact that they're all bad guys. This is the first bad guy team movie we've ever seen, I think. At least the first one I know. And I can't really say anything I haven't already said. I'm still really looking forward to this movie. So, of all these members of the Suicide Squad, which one is your favorite? Whoever it is, go ahead and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe.